it just seems like it's a free for all for landlords. When landlords raise the rents 12 to 15 percent a year, they're barely covering their prices. Somebody sees this section of your phone's photo gallery, they should think you're trying to solve a crime that happened at that apartment. Well, the average one bedroom, one bathroom apartment in Utah cost almost $1,200 a month in 2021. That's according to the Kempsey Gardner Policy Institute, and that is an increase of almost 50% in just the last six years. As market prices climb, if you do find a place or price that seems too good to be true, tenant lawyers are advising you to know your rights before you sign your lease. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser has the story. The Overlook community in Harriman was home to many firsts for the Wilsons. Their townhome here was where Zach Wilson and his wife became parents and shared their first memories as a young family. Patty cake? Yeah. Now they return back to their old neighborhood weeks later, burdened by the stress of what they say happened after they left. I want to knock on these. I want to knock on this door where I used to live and let them know, like document everything. Zach Wilson says Max Property Management told them rent would be going up, so they decided to move out in April. They waited for the return of their $1,400 security deposit. They never got it and instead received this email. It just seems like it's a free for all for landlords. This invoice says the company not only wouldn't return the deposit, Max charged the Wilsons another $3,000 in damages and gave them six days to pay up. Anyone who knows us, like, came into our unit, we're a clean family. Like, to pay $3,000 is pretty, is a lot. The big items, $2,100 for carpet replacement, $1,700 for repairs listed on a separate invoice is ranging from a dented garage door to new batteries in the smoke alarms, and $400 for cleaning. The Wilsons tried to repaint part of the townhome before they left, but a statement from PM says the family did a terrible job, so the family was also billed for painting. The statement from Max PM went on to say the process is inherently unpleasant, but future residents residents deserve the same quality living conditions as the previous resident. The lease holds parties responsible for the damages they cause. We said we're not going to pay it. And now per our contract, they're going to tack on 40 percent. Attorney Marcus Deegan with People's Legal Aid says that's why you should scan every word of any contract before signing. As always, you're in a contractual relationship. Read and understand that contract. He says to make sure you have the pictures to back it up, both when you move in and out. You don't just take a couple pictures, you take an obsessive number of pictures. If somebody sees this section of your phone's photo gallery, they should think you're trying to solve a crime that happened at that apartment. Deegan says a lot of renters don't know the rights they do or don't have. He says a landlord can't lock you out without a court order signed by a judge. A landlord cannot raise your rent in the middle of a lease unless you receive a low-income housing subsidy. If you're on a month-to-month -month status, your landlord does not need to give you more than 15 days notice before the end of the month to raise your rent. And once that term is complete, they can set it to whatever they want. There is nothing stopping a landlord from raising rent however much they see fit. When renters have rent increases, they have options. They, 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 there's other places that they can look around. We have almost 305,000 rental units in the state. That's Paul Smith with the Utah Apartment Association, an association of landlords and property managers that represent around 160,000 rental units in Utah. When it comes to the current market, he says landlords are barely making any profit. And producer prices are increasing dramatically, 11% March to March. And so when landlords raise the rents 12 to 15% a year, they're barely covering their prices. Remember, there's always two sides of every story, and renters usually tell a compelling side, but it's not the only side. Good boy. As for the Wilsons, they say they're happier at their new property under a private landlord. We can text him and talk to him and we feel like we have a level of communication with him at this point. Still, they say they have not paid the $3,000 and have retained an attorney to contest the charges. It's a burden all the time right now where we just have no idea what's going to happen with this.
If you need help or resources, go to utcourts.gov. Click on the self-help tab and under the housing category, there are helpful links and information on deposit refunds, evictions, and more for both tenants and landlords. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.